Oh, dude, there's Arthur Cooper. Oh, yeah. Earth. What's he on his 22nd time? I think so. That's awesome. I love this time machine. Oh, I know. Whoa, whoa, man. It's good to be back. Yeah, really outer is. space is crazy. Oh, man, no oxygen thing. So, for those of you who don't know, me and Luke just got back from outer space. We wanted a better view on astronaut Cooper, who was the first astronaut to orbit the Earth 22 times. Back in 1963. I love this time machine. Dude. I we're do getting too. Our money's worth. I'm having a blast. Ooh. But now that we're back, let's dive right into the week in review. I, I agree with you. Um, I hope you guys had a chance to catch the elementary school district's art show that was being held uh, at Walpole High. I had a chance to walk through. It was I great wish, stuff. Huge pieces. Oh, it was awesome. I wish I could do what those kids can do. Yeah, there's something else. Uh, we also had a sock hop this past Friday. And let me tell you, I wasn't there, but I heard it was awesome. It was one of the best ones we've had. A lot of families came out. We have another one. Uh, coming up in June, check WalpoleRec.com for that. It's disco themed, if you couldn't tell by Ellis getting down. Um, so dress the kids up like disco kings and queens and show them how you use the boogie. I like that. We also had a sixth grade dance. Again, had a blast. And who was back on the ones and twos? The DJ guy. was. But oh, was we had fun. Phil. He was going nuts for the snow Running the light. lights. We got some footage of that behind us. It was awesome. The sixth grade got a little bit of trouble with the strobe light though. Yeah, they weren't really into it. But so that's okay. That, was, that'll come. That'll come with time. You gotta learn experience. something. Experience. <laughs> experience. We had, uh, and also this past week, we had the first night of the Walpole High School Film Festival, which I went to. It How was, was it? awesome. They uh, showed four films. That was And it was everything from just really, really funny to really, really, like, heartwarming. The Recovery was an intense yeah. film that followed the basketball team this past season and uh, the events that happened during that. So, that's what we had uh, in the week in review. So, let's yeah, dive... Yeah, it was a short week. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Around, let's dive right into another edition of This, this Week in Rack. Okay, um, events we got coming up. Film Festival tonight, night two. What goes on on night two? Night two, they show the second half of the film. So we have Texting the Limits, Lunch Lady Land, <laughs> Staples Over Lunch Walpole, Lady. My Own Worst Enemy, which I've seen, I got a sneak preview of. Why did you get a sneak preview of it? I helped out with the music on that oh, one, well, actually. There you go. And then, of course, the highly anticipated Adorn of the Dance. And what? And who is in Adorn of the Dance? <laughs> Our good friend Dan, Dan Adorn. Adorn. That's what I like to hear. This Dan is the Adorn follow up of last year's um, The Day of Adorn. Uh, which I saw the poster of from last year. <laughs> yeah, and ever awesome. since I wanted to see the, movie, see the movie and I just haven't been able to. That's really good stuff. Um, and then what happens on Thursday night? Uh, Thursday night's the red carpet. So okay. everyone that's nominated for awards, best actor, supporting actor, best film, best music, all that stuff. Then there's a red card. The kids show up in limos. Yeah, I, you know what? I was it's part of the big film. time. I was part of the film festival in 2007. And oh yeah. They do it. I mean, they do it. Up. They it do is, it. Up. They make it a lot of fun. Everyone's um, dressed up, suits, dresses. Yeah, and it, they do it. They. It's really a good job. That's uh, at five o'clock Thursday. And tickets the, are still available for that. At least the limo used to. I don't know about it anymore. The limo used to be donated by uh, Thomas's. Oh funeral. no kidding! Yeah. Um. So I don't know if they I'm still not sure are, about but, that, but yeah, hey, if they're not, they just got a free shout out. That's, so there you yep, go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what else we have? Finally, it's no longer in our future nope, segment, it's but it's now in the event segment. Saturday the twenty-first. We got Walpole Day. <laughs> You know what else you know, on the 21st though? What? Armageddon! <laughs> that might not be a good thing, but you know what? Hopefully that, that's not happening. Yeah, because you know what? we really need Walpole Day to happen. We got yeah. parades, food. I heard uh, Chris's catering. It is. It, it will be there. We are on a table. We got some chicken marsala. Come on and by, the kids, see we Chris got some doing his thing. Fries. 
But I'm not the only one there. We got Conrad. I believe Conrad's will be back. Yep. We got Leo's doing pizza. Yep. We got Mylene and uh, Roger Thomas doing fried Lions dough. Lions Club. Co yep. yep. Uh, the Rex doing cotton candy and flushes, I believe. It's going to be great. Um, we got the parade, dunk tank, rock yes. wall. <laughs> Don't even get me going on the dunk tank. Oh, we know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the concerts, we got all those teen bands coming back that have been here. It's going to be awesome. So yeah, that's the 21st, 12 o'clock. Come on you down. You got a rock ball in there? Down. I know. When I'm climbing that thing. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't think we're allowed to, but probably not. And it's just going to be a fun day of socializing with your friends too, guys. So come it's on now. It's going to be great. Chris, what do we got going on in sports? You don't want to forget to mention what we're going to sports. What? Buy a duck. Oh, you gotta get a duck. Buy a duck. You got, you got this duck week race. to buy one. Second annual duck race. If you guys don't want to buy a dollar prize. And if you don't want to wait in line, then buy one in advance. Come down this week to the Walpole yep. Rack, Blackburn Hall. Get on down here. Pick up a duck. Um, but yeah, sports this week. Yeah, what do we you know got what we going haven't on? mentioned yet? Since I've been on camera? Who? Walpole, Walpole Track. track. I That's know. It. I mean, Giblin, Mr. Giblin. You gotta love Mr. You really do. Dude, the guy's the man. I love him. Uh, he's a history teacher up at the high school, but he's also the track coach. Um, and track this week is at, uh, they got their Bay State Conference Championships. Um, and those are at Weymouth High School, obviously in Weymouth. Um, so go check those out. Um, a lot of great runners on that team. Huge numbers. Yeah. Most of the numbers of the high school are going down. Their, yeah. numbers, their numbers are going up. They got right. like 120 kids this, this season. Oh, wow, it's crazy. And that's almost throughout the year they got o over 100 kids. That's fantastic. Um, so that's awesome for them. Um, but that's all we got really. That's what we got for high school sports. But how Bruins. about them Bruins? The Bruins, we, there's a Bruins game I mean, tonight. There is a Bruins game tonight. They better game win tonight two. because that was absurd. I don't even want to one. talk about that. But they dropped game one, but that's all right because we have faith. Not because we want to, but because we have to. <laughs> because the freaking Celtics let us down, guys. No, again, don't let even want to talk down. about that. But tonight, 8 o'clock, get your jerseys on and get down to your closest bar or your closest television if you're not down in the bar scene. So that um, game's at 8. Game's at 8 and it's going to be a fun time. It's now time for the, the shout out, out of the week. week. And Who are we shouting out, Chris? Well, this shout out is back to one of our previous segments. We're yep. going to, the shout out's going to Michael Allen. And for those of you who don't know Michael Allen or Mr. Allen, to some of you, he is an English teacher and a film teacher up at the high school. Um, he actually heads up the film festival. Yep. Um, and he, like we said earlier, he's just done an awesome job. Yeah. He's actually turned that thing into a legitimate film festival. Yeah. Red carpet. The he whole night. Dude, there are neighboring towns. I got friends who went to Dedham and they got a film festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They all come to the Walpole right. and to see how it's done. And, and not only that, but he has the, journal, the journalism students. Yeah. He has them reporting. So oh. when you walk down that red carpet, you have re actual reporters, reporters in your face asking questions. It, oh, it's, it's, just, awesome. it's a really cool job. Um, he's done an awesome job. Um, he, just as an English teacher alone, forget the film festival, sure. he does what he has to for his kids. Yeah. Um, he has, They have great respect for him. Um, and we're giving him the shout out of the week um, because we want him to know that we appreciate what he does in the film festival, what he does as a teacher and um, what he does for his students, his, his high school, and for the town. Um, so, so Mr. Thank you Allen, very much. shout out of the week I hope to this you. gets to you. Yeah, it will, it will. And again, that red carpet event that we were just talking about, that's Thursday, pick up a ticket. It's at five, at the high school. It's gonna be so much fun. But for all of those, for those of you who came with us to the moon. Yep, we're going into the future. Here we go. All right, here's what we got, and this is a big one. Save the fireworks. This is an event that actually... This ain't going to Japan, I, people. This is going to you. Aisha Kelly and the rec department. This is... We've been saving the fireworks every year for quite some time yeah, now. Three or four years now, I think. So there was a threat a couple years ago there wasn't enough fun for the fireworks. And as all you Walpole residents know, our 3rd of July is a big communal event. And our fireworks show is one of the best around. Yeah. And uh, and every but year it's kind of in danger of not really well, happening. I mean, those fireworks or... are expensive. So, I mean, so, but $25 gets you a shirt. Gets you a I Save the Fireworks t-shirt. And those shirts are looking pretty good. Yeah, they're our cool boy, this year. Our boy, Brendan Mr. Croak. Mr. Brendan Croak. Designing them. There he is. I love it. I love it. He's designing them up. They're looking good. 
Um, $25 gets you a shirt. They also get you a great fireworks show, guys. Yeah. So, so, like we said, donate. like we said, these donations aren't going anywhere. They're going right back to you. They're getting you a good show. They're getting your kids a good show. And it's going into the community. So, it's a good cause. So, save the fireworks. Save the fireworks. Um, but... We lost a big part of our 6th and 7th grade dances. One of the most requested songs at the 6th and 7th grade dances, of course. I mean, I don't know if you guys know the Teach Me How to Dougie. I mean, it's pretty, it's I mean, pretty I believe nationwide, it's like big time. I believe it's a little <laughs> shimmy, and then you do that thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's something like that. But we lost a big part of those dances. I understand. The hip-hop artist M-Bone, a key member of the Cali Swag District, and one of the creators of the hit song and dance uh, passed away. We, we lost him on uh, he, Sunday. Yes, Sunday, he passed away. So, um, so our thoughts. Next so dance, we should do a dedication of big. Yeah, we will teach me how to doggy dedication. We will. But uh, so, so our thoughts go out to the Cali Swag District. There you go. Well, it really is. He's a key, he's a key, I he's get a key it. member of the dance. <laughs> is that all we got? That's it. That's going to do it for another edition of This Week in Rec. I'm your host, Luke Dem. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Ellis, and we will see you guys next week. See you next time. Peace. Bye, Doc.